David Bay here for MuscularDevelopment.com. We are in Miami wrapping things up from the 2015 NPC Nationals. Uh, I am here with uh, possibly the biggest story of the show, not to walk away with the pro card, uh, Rashid Oldacre. Uh, Rashid, we've interviewed a whole lot of guys that walked away with IFBB pro cards tonight. Unfortunately, you did not, but you are absolutely the talk of the show right now. Uh, you came out at what, 274, 75 pounds this weekend? Yeah, 274 and a half. I mean, it was it was pretty crazy. Now, for the guys who aren't familiar with uh, with Rashid, make sure you get online, check out the pictures, give us a little bit of background. Where are you from? How long you've been competing? Stuff like that. Uh, I'm originally from Philadelphia. Um, been competing for about hmm, since 2002, so about 12, 13 years now. Um, uh, a lot of my inspirations, uh, Ronnie Coleman, I'm a big Ronnie Coleman fan. Unbelievable DVD, you gotta go get it if you haven't seen it. <laughs> I know I'm advertising for him, but yeah, it's one of my favorite right, DVDs. Right. Watch that like maybe four times a week. Um, um, I struggled a lot um, coming up through the ranks, you know, trying to just find the right. Always had muscle, but I, the condition I lacked, you know, a lot of. Um, I linked up with uh, now my, my coach now. Um, been with him for about exactly a year now today. Um, and we got things on the board we got he understands my body now I understand it more now and so we got things um, fine-tuned and I think maybe the next time we will we'll, we'll get it well you know that one of the things that we had talked about and you know Peter McGough and myself and basically everybody who saw the show discussed is your turnaround in 24 hours was absolutely incredible I mean you know we, we talked in the, in the prejudging play-by-play -play, like this guy had he come out in shape would have walked the show. And, you know, I had made a joke like, oh, he's on the wrong side of the country. He should have been out in L.A. doing the Frigno show because because he looks like a pro. Um, you know, what, what what were you doing between Friday and Saturday? I mean, because you came in tonight and just looked like a different bodybuilder. I mean, did you cut water? I mean, did you just try to fill out a little bit? Uh, I just cut water a little bit. Um, for some reason, my body was just holding water, um, holding water most as I ever had. And, um, and when I got off the plane there, I was swollen ankles and everything. So um, we we tried to lose, cut the water, get harder, but we just I just didn't make it for um, you know the prejudging. Um, so I stuck with the plan. Me and my coach, we stuck with the plan. We stuck with the plan, and we said, hey, you know, keep it coming in. Um, this morning I woke up and I was like, wow, I look great, you know. <laughs> and then a couple hours later, like even better, and it's like even better. Um, so you know now we just gotta fine-tune that water thing, you know, coming off the plane, all that pressure and things like that. we got to make sure I get here a day or two earlier um, just to make sure everything's in, in check. So yeah. it's a learning process uh, we was able to figure it out. Yeah, it definitely is. And, you know, so many times as, you know, as bodybuilders and as bodybuilding fans, we hear some guys be like, ah, I just need to cut a little bit of water. And we're kind of like, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, cutting water, I mean, it was, it was night and day difference for you. Now, I know everybody that was here, everybody that sees your pictures online, I know ahead of time. I haven't been on social media. I haven't been on Facebook, Instagram. I can tell you right now already that tomorrow it's going to be blowing up with, with, with your pictures. Uh, everybody's going to want to know when you're going to be on stage next. Is that even something you've thought about? Uh, right now, I haven't thought about it yet. Um, you know, I, I like to make those those decisions when I'm, you know, when I'm in my right mind. When you've when had some food, <laughs> some food, and got some water in me. Um, I call my coach, you know, early next week, and uh, we'll we'll talk about, you know, when the next show is going to be, when the next show may be, um, was right for me, and everything like that. Because um, he does want to give me a little time. So I've been kind of going back to back with the. Uh, North Americans and then straight into this one. So you want to give me a little time to at least a, at least a few weeks to kind of cool out and right. things like that. All right. Well, either way you go, if you do compete next year, you know, if you do the USA's, you got Tampa two weeks later. If you do North yeah. Americans, if you do North Americans, yeah. you got Orlando a couple of weeks later. You're already in contest shape. You can jump right into an IFBB pro show. And I've uh, look, I've been to enough pro shows where I don't I don't think this is me being you know overconfident or arrogant or w with covering as many as I cover but I'm pretty confident that you could jump in in top condition and win an IFBB show right away so I I think I speak for myself and everybody that uh, when I say we want, we want to see you back on stage like soon but right, obviously right. decisions you have to make with your coach um, before we wrap things up you know any shout outs anybody you want to say thank you to before we go uh, I just like to give a shout out to like all my friends and my family um, everybody that you know, stood behind me through, through had some rough times coming into this show. So people, a lot of, a lot of people supported me. 
A lot of people cheered me on and things like that. Um, it's too many to mention. They all know who they are. Um, definitely, you know, my coach who really kind of turned my physique around and gave me a different mindset coming into competition. Um, so um, all those people are great, um, and, I, and I really appreciate everything they've done because uh, this sport is not an individual sport at all. Um, there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes, and uh, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't have created this physique and be able to bring this back to the stage if it wasn't for them. Um, so all credit goes to them, you know. Um, so, yeah. All right, man. Well, once again, we hope to see you on stage real soon. But, guys, that's going to do it for us. So one more time, David Bay with Rashid Oldaker from the 2015 NPC Nationals for MusculoDevelopment.com.